I told you so. What is going on, peoples? I kind of do like being right sometimes. And it kind of feels good that, you know, they listen. Like, Solid State Logic actually listened to my last video that I did with the SSL 6, which was a great product. I really was enthusiastic about it, but the one thing that really threw me off was the fact that it didn't include an audio interface with all the other hookups that they had. And I'm gonna talk about that a little later on with the SSL 2 Plus because I think there's something that SSL is still overlooking, but overall, this announcement had me really hyped because now, not only are they providing the audio interface, they are competing with a lot of other audio interface companies out there with their prestige background of making great audio products, mixing consoles and all that. It could just make all of us old school boomers happy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at it. And I'm going to talk about some of the pros and cons that I have for it, because there are some things that I do want to address as well as a video at the top right of the screen. If you want to have a more personal listen with Solid State Logic and Sonic State. So let's go ahead and do this. So the link will be in the description box and I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section on how you feel about the Solid State Logic SSL 2 or the 2 Plus and if you're going to pre-order it or you know some of the things that you like or dislike about it. I definitely want to hear it and, and I think it will help Solid State Logic as well. Uh, I always use Sweetwater.com as a website because they have pictures and stuff like that. I mean, there's no secret there. And also, when I pre-order stuff from there, there's an expert that will always hit you up and ask you questions and stuff like that, which is cool. Uh, so, the main thing I really like about this the SSL audio interface is definitely the fact that they have this right here. The design is portable. So, that's one thing, the reason why I want it, because I need another portable audio interface. Uh, I have a focus right that I use right now on my iPad. And, you know, we'll get into that in another video because some cool stuff. But I really like this design because they have, it's true to the, the actual console itself. You have the big mixing knob right there. That's really good. The big monitor level knob, that is. And that's really cool. I really love that design. Uh, you have the legacy button. I know a lot of people are like, man, the 4K button, is it going to give you 4K visuals? No, it's audio and it's meant to be a reflection of the SSL 4000. So that means that it's going to do summing, which is their distortion circuit that is very popular in the SSL 4000, a character that a lot of people love about the SSL 4000 rather and give you some high end crunch as well. So that will be really good for like the line levels and the high res stuff because uh, you can plug in a guitar and you know you can go crazy on it and get some natural distortion and you know just mix stuff in. Uh, and also you have phantom power as well. So for people that are wondering, oh, does it have phantom power? Yes, it does. Uh, my only question and concern is this button right here. So what does this do? Or is that like a peak monitor? If it's a peak monitor, then that'd be dope. And then as far as I can see is in the pictures here, uh, green being a reflection of good, that means that that might be a peak monitor. So if that goes red, that means that you get peaks. That is a good thing if it's like that. If it's not, hopefully uh, it hasn't got out of the research and development phase yet, if that's the case, and they need to implement that because that would be very helpful for people like me. And that gives them a, a huge edge over other companies like Focusrite because Focusrite doesn't do that on their main monitor for your DAW or your computer. Of course, you have your phone jack in here, so you can have one headphone jack. Uh, the only reason why I'm just viewing that now so you can see that it's $229.99 for the cheap version of this. And for the more expensive uh, version, is at $279.99. And that is really good. That's a very competitive price for them to add uh, some more stuff to it. Uh, of course, you get two headphone mixes. So that means you can have one for your talent. And then you can have one for yourself. And you can choose either more of them, less of them, and more of you as far as like the mix or uh, whatnot. But there is... A few things that they didn't add to this, of course, it would raise the price of it, and that is a talk button, which would have been very dope if they would have provided that. Uh, if we go to the back of this right here, I, I definitely want to start talking about the SSL as far as the back. So looking at the back of this thing, uh, the SSL 2 Plus has the MIDI in and out, which is great for if you somebody has standalone gear. You also have a headphone jack 
for A and B. So that's really good too, as well as well as having like a separate mix for your output. So I think that's really good as well as your core inch outs so that you can have high quality balance uh, monitors. And also you have, of course, your XLR and quarter inch jacks ends for one and two. So that's really great. Only thing that I have an issue with is that they didn't supply an ADAT in. That would have been so great if they would have put an ADAT in on this product. I think that's one thing that would have helped the expandability or the usability because I would use this as a main piece in my studio and I will probably buy another one for the road if they had the A that in, but they don't. And that's unfortunate that they don't have an A that in. Of course, it's limited of, with, with price. And there's another thing that I wanna talk about. So again, you know, it would be great if they had like more expandability with an A that and stuff like that. But my only other question about this would definitely would be the software. They haven't talked much about the software outside of providing uh, extra plugins here for you. And that's great that they provide plugins, but do they provide like a virtual cable system like UAD, which is necessary these days, as well as like focus right their competition that they're jumping into because they're already gonna be in competition with the Scarlet 2i2, which is in that price point range or even higher if you want more IOs. And when you go a little step higher in the focus right world, that's when they give you stuff like ADAT and stuff like that. And that's when, you know, it just becomes uncompetitive for a lot of things that they might offer in this price point range. But, you know, either way, uh, you can see certain things. Like if I was to go over here to the ProSonic Studio, uh, let's let's see how the aisles on this look like. Give it that this, these are, you know, suggestions for price point range. Uh, we start looking at things. You can see that they don't offer an ADAT in, but they do have like SPDIF. Uh, but either way, you know, it's just like, mm, you might as well just get this baby right here. I mean, why wouldn't you not get the SSL too? I mean, and that's the saving grace for like the SSL in terms of that. But still, you still, if I was to go and pull up one of the Focusrite Scarlet's. So I'm just using the Focusrite Scarlet as an example here. And it's the 8i6, by the way. And the price point is $269.99. Uh, I'm looking at the back of it, and it doesn't have ADAT too. So I, I see why uh, Solid State Logic chose not to do the ADAT because they didn't want to give you everything because their competition doesn't give you everything. But one thing I will say about the Focusrite Scarlet series is that I know that they have a virtual cable software. So that way that is easier for you to work with an audio interface and your DAW as far as like selecting your ins and outs. And that's the only thing that is the saving grace of like the focus, right? And I hope that the SSL does have some virtual cable software or virtual rack of some sort where you can uh, put like your ins and outs individually inside of your DAW where you want. Just for kicks and giggles, I got the Focusrite Scarlet 18 i8 up and it's the third gen and it's $359.99. And you know, and I want to see the back of this. This is when you get the optical input right here. So at the price point of $359.99, you definitely guys at SSL want to, you know, add some ADAT in there. Because if the ADAT was on the SSL 2 right now, or the 2 Plus rather, man, you would be murdering focus right with their own products there because you already have peak monitoring in the front, hardware peak monitoring in the front, and you know, you basically have two headphone mixes that you can use for the talent and for the engineer. So that's really good. And, you know, you have expandability. You don't even have to worry about the audio interface itself having less expandability than the others. And of course, if you have virtual racks, you'll still be in competition and probably will kill some of the competition of UAD at some point there as well. The only thing that separates UAD from all the other audio interfaces is their processor, but that's for another video. So tell me how you feel about this video. Yeah, I really do think that having an ADAT in would have really sold this thing really well. It just would just expand its usability for more people that want to add more mic pre's or just more ins because the biggest problem with uh, a lot of these audio interfaces is that they don't have enough ins. I mean, for somebody that's just recording an artist or something like that, I think it's really good. It's not going to knock you from that. But if you are somebody like me that does 
a lot of recording, but also has a lot of gear. You know, the expandability is necessary, so it just kind of knocks you out the way of using that altogether. But I have plans to using it with the iPad and, and then, you know, just testing it out. Anyways, it's not going to knock me from purchasing it because it's at a great price. I do think that the price point is really good and it's worth spending the money to support a company like Solid State Logic because, again, not everybody's going to have a lot of gear, but at the same time, you know, ADAP would have been great.